comments option allows administrators to view all the comments made across the site. In this view, you can see who made the comment, what the comment was, and delete them. Or you can select the checkboxes and delete batches of comments in one go. The backup page shows the details of the automated course backups. Here you can see the course name, the time the backup took, and whether the status is OK. Finally, the date and time for the next automated backup. The Configuration Changes page details all the configuration changes that have been made to this Moodle site. This is particularly useful when there is more than one administrator. The Course Overview page allows administrators to generate various different types of report and to choose the period that these reports cover. The information is displayed in a graph and also in tabular data at the bottom. Moodle logs the interaction of all users across the site. From this page you can choose individual courses, individual participants, a range of dates and even look at specific activities or actions. You can then display this data on the screen or export it to Excel for example. If you have a busy site and you're trying to monitor exactly what's happening then the live logs can be a great option. The question instances page allows administrators to see where question types have been used across the site. This is particularly useful when using third-party plug-in question types. The security overview page shows you a number of issues, their status and a brief description. You can click on each issue for more information. As an example, the password policy here has not been set, so we've been given a warning. Now if you're happy that you haven't set a password policy for some reason, then there's no need to do anything, but this page will flag up warnings for you. The Spam Cleaner enables Moodle to search for inappropriate words. Moodle has a built-in list of these words, which you can in fact add to yourself. If statistics have been enabled on your site, this page shows you interesting graphs. You can choose individual courses or the whole site, you can look for certain types of activity, and also choose the time period. The information is displayed in a graph and also in tabular form towards the bottom. 